So many things uh, in our country, this country for which you are honorable guests has had its history that uh, we've been able to draw a lot of lessons from that history. And um, one of the things that uh, assisted us to go through some of those uh, extremely challenging uh, circumstances was football. Uh, I, I want to save uh, you a long uh, story, but I, I just say just months before the tragedy happened here in our country in 1994, uh, there was a lot of fighting, there was uh, uh, a history of uh, sectarianism and, uh, and so on and so forth. One of the things that actually coming almost at the top that people clung to that kept bringing us together was sports and particularly football. <laughs> I remember when uh, we had the ceasefire um, and the fighting parties had uh, ceased to do that. Uh, one of the things was immediately thought about. I remember some of the young people weren't worried about food, weren't worried about many things you know are very essential. Immediately they were asked, they wanted to say, how can we play football? In fact, one time quietly we organized football, some of the people who are caught up here in the capital and those of us who are further to the north, uh, we arranged some people who are smuggled from here, brought to the north where we were, and formed teams and people played, uh, you know, had a team coming from here, the capital and the surrounding areas, and then a team, a team of those who were, of us who were in the north and they played football. Uh, in fact, during the tragic situation, unfortunately, some of the members uh, of the team that came from around, when they were known to have gone to the north where we were and played football there, were killed only for that purpose that they had gone to meet the other side and uh, they had known it was uh, football they had come for. Well, they didn't kill them because they went for football. They went to, they killed them because they went to play football with those they were not supposed to be playing football with. So, but then you see football. Football was constant in the ceasefire, in both sides, and even after the tragic situation, very young people, all they want to do was to go out there and play football. And they hear, I'm, I'm sure like in many other African countries, they make football from banana fiber. Uh, from banana fiber, they make footballs and they kick this football on the street. And they are so happy. 
kicking banana fiber, fiber football on the street. Uh, to the point that uh, they even forget uh, the time to go have their meals. So when we took over after that situation, I wanted to say that one of the things we invested in was uh, there were so many needs, so many priorities, which you wouldn't imagine would involve uh, football. But we made sure that through the Minister of Sports, we wanted to say we should enable these people, among other priorities, our young people, to be able to play football.